the Gator Bowl is Notre Dame and South Carolina. And South Carolina is a two and a half point dog. The total sits at 52 on this. It's Friday, December 30th at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. This one is an ESPN game. Let's go on and pull it up. Now, Drew Pine is not playing in this one. Uh, several guys from Notre Dame have opted out of this one. South Carolina, Austin Sogner is out of this one. Uh, he is transferring back to Oklahoma. There are a lot of interesting things going on here. We'll just say that. I'm uh, I'm interested in just who's going to play. Like apparently Spencer Rattler is going to play, uh, etc. But when I start looking at these numbers, like one that since week eight of this season, my numbers would have Notre Dame favored by over ten points. I mean that's that's kind of nuts. And here's the thing, it the line started dropping significantly when Drew Pine uh, announced that he was you know out that he was transferring to Arizona State, etc. When I look at these numbers, I don't know that they have to worry about a whole lot. Like, South Carolina's got a bunch of guys that are transferring. Jaheim Bell, uh, et cetera, right? Like, I I just, I, I know Spencer Rattler's going to play. I know that there's some other guys that are going to play. I also know Marshawn Lloyd is in the transfer portal, and I don't know if he's going to stay, but we'll see. Uh, the reason why I'm not so worried about Drew Pine being gone is I don't know that Notre Dame is going to have to worry about throwing the football at all. They already run the ball over 61% of the time over the last six weeks of the season. They're number 12 in rushing success rate. South Carolina's defense is number 126. They're number 30 in PPA per rush. That's predicted points added per rush. South Carolina's defense is number 126. So while I was interested initially in betting on South Carolina, especially the way that they ended the season, uh, I, I don't think that you can replicate what they did against Tennessee, for one, because I think Notre Dame's got a significantly better defense, or against Clemson, because the Clemson special teams turnovers, etc., were just a disaster. So, in this situation, I'm not expecting Notre Dame to uh, beat themselves here. Uh, you, you look at, you know, the turnover margin, number 42 in giveaways per game. They're not great at getting takeaways, but which team is more likely to turn the ball over? Well, that, that'd be South Carolina. When you look at penalties per game, Notre Dame is number 21 in the country, only averaging 4.7 per game. South Carolina is number 99, averaging 7 per game. There's a big difference there. Like, which team is more likely to make a mistake that's going to cost them uh, a cover or cost them the game? And I, I think that's going to be on South Carolina. So Shane Beamer has gotten real chesty here lately, and I understand it. I mean, those are two massive, massive wins to end the season. Uh, they go 8-4. and four in a year that a lot of people thought they would probably be about 6-6. Six and six. Cheers to them for doing it. And, and the recruiting stuff is going really well. But man, I, I'm going to ride North, Notre Dame. I like Notre Dame. Regardless of the quarterback situation, give me the fight in Irish. Minus two and a half. I don't think they'll have to throw the football. Sorry, Gamecocks fans. Y'all know I love you. But uh, this is a matchup deal. Matchup for me. Not love to be proven wrong, but that's that's the way I'm going to lean on that one. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary W C E, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.